Think co-ops and you might think bearded men in sandals divvying up sacks of grain for the commune. But the capital city of co-ops in this country is Ashburton. Not exactly a hotbed of alternative lifestylers, and that's the point. Co-ops are so pervasive in Ashburton, the mainstream. There's even an electricity co-op. Alexia O'Brien went to see what's got into them. All these companies are same, same, but different. And what makes them the same is what helps Ashburton tick. The benefits are well known and championed by many people in the district. It turns out Ashburton's good at cooperating. A cooperative's a bunch of capitalists acting like socialists, trying to um, make themselves better off. And it's through the collective power. There are no middlemen, there's no one taking anything, any creaming it off you or, 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 or taking, a, taking a cut. You're owning that, you're part of that action. What is it about Ashburton that you think makes it do cooperative so well? Uh, it's the way the people um, have learnt to cooperate, their style of doing business. I think people are always aware of it in Ashburton. We've got big neighbours to the north and to the south, and uh, unless we want to, if we want to do our own thing, you've got to do it well here. This is the in-store day for Ashburton Trading Society, or ATS. It's a real flagship event for our business, and a lot of business is done here. The company began almost 50 years ago, when local farmers banded together to buy cheaper in bulk. There's no escaping it in Ashburton, it is a farm town, and historically, cooperatives have always been very strong in the agricultural sector. Today, my friend, we're going to do a real sharp deal. $2,295, that's oh, including GST. Oh, it's, it's... They put in $500 capital up front on that. They'll get uh, very competitive prices up front when they buy their goods, through either through our stores or through our supply network, and they also get a dividend on that capital paid each year. And while rural businesses feature heavily in the town, they're not the only ones. So what are we going to have, power and fibre optic out here? Electricity Ashburton, the only lines distribution company in the country, that's a co-op. Everyone that joins the network, every power user in the town is uh, a shareholder, owns the company. Gordon Guthrie says that changes how they do business. So you're totally focusing on the customer service aspects and the value of that transaction with the customer. Um, Unlike when, if you're an investor-owned company, you have another group of shareholders who are looking for a return on that investment. Margaret and Jim Stewart are typical locals, long-time farmers, members of ATS and Electricity Ashburton. It is a small area and everybody's willing to help each other. And I think that's where the working together thing is, comes in with a cooperative. And this is what I use for making the scarves. They're award-winning breeders, and Margaret uses the sheep's wool for her craft cooperative. Hi, girls. Got some more goods. Take them out the pack. What have you got today? Oh, I've just made another red bag this time. On our own, we're certainly not big enough to have a shop of our own. Not enough stock and stuff, you know, we could accumulate. But as a cooperative, it works absolutely brilliantly. Yeah, what's the slogan? The slogan, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Ashburton Mayor Angus Mackay is proud of his town, but he had to get on the phone to find out its catchphrase. Life just gets better. OK, that'll do. What is the slogan for Ashburton? <laughs> Life, what is it? Life just gets better. <laughs> Life just gets better. And it turns out life does get better for Ashburton. All of this cooperation means Ashburton and wider Mid-Canterbury have now been crowned the country's cooperative capital. We looked all over New Zealand um, and there are more there than anywhere else. We're all working together. Everyone here is, um, yeah, they know each other. It's got a good um, farming area so they get a lot of support. Ohakuni's got its carrot, taihape, the gumboot. Up the road in Rakaia, they've got the salmon. So how to mark this one in Ashburton? Perhaps a, a big cow eating some wheat. A big combine harvester. Maybe a cow. I'm told we're going to have a big sign. 